Okay, this is a quick review of graphing systems of linear equalities. Our first equation we're going to look at is number 31 on page 160. First equation is y is greater than or equal to negative 4. Since this equation is already solved for y and we only have one letter in it, we're just going to put a point at negative 4 on the y-axis and then draw a horizontal line through that point. So let's go to our graph. Uh, negative 4, so we're going to go down 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. I want to put a point. And through that point, I'm going to draw a horizontal line, and it's going to be a solid line because it was greater than or equal to through that point. So there's my line. Now that we've drawn our equation, we want to test it to make sure that it works. And since it does not go through 0, 0, I'm going to use 0, 0 for that test. So I'm going to put a point, just a little mark, at 0, 0, just to show me that that's where I'm testing my point. I'm going to go back to my equation. I'm going to test this. So we test 0, 0. We plug it in. So 0 is greater than or equal to negative 4. So that equation is true. Since that's true, that means that this half of the graph right here is true. So I'm going to shade that side of the graph. Okay. And you don't have to be neat or anything else on it. Just make sure that you understand that that side of the graph is shaded. So we've shaded that side of the graph. Now we're going to look at graphing the other equation. Now the other equation is in the form of the mx plus b. And so we're going to use that equation to do it. Because it's in the y-axis equals mx plus b, we're going to get our slope and our y-intercept to graph it. Our slope, m equals negative 2. So we're going to change that to a fraction, so it should be negative 2 over 1, our rise over run. And then our b, or our y-intercept, is negative 10, or 10, so our point is 0, 10. Okay, so we're going to go and place that point there. So we're going to do our graph again. And we're going to put a point at 0, 10. Since it's our y-intercept, it's going to be on our y-axis, so it's going to be right up here. I'm going to put a point there. And from that point, we're going to do our slope, which goes down 2, so 1, 2, and over 1. So put another point there, and I'll do it one more time so we can get a little bit straighter of a line. Now, this line is going to be a dashed line because the equation is not greater than or equal to. It's just less than, so it's going to be a dashed line. So I'm going to draw a dashed line through that one. So there's our dashed line. Now, again, we have our equation separated into two pieces. So again, we're going to test the point. We're going to test 0, 0 again. So we go back and look, and when we test the 0, 0, 0 is less than or equal to negative 2 times 0 plus 10. So we end up getting 0 is less than 10, and that is also true. So we're going to go back to our graph, and we're going to shade this section of the graph over here. Now, the final solution to this equation is not all that shading. It's just where they're both shaded. So in this case, where they're both shaded is in this area right in here. So it's in this area right in here is where they're both shaded. So that is going to be our solution for this equation. The next equation we're going to look at is problem number 38 from the book on page 160 again. Now this equation was a little different. It's negative x is less than y. Now, even though the y is on the wrong side, the y is still by itself, so we we'll still are going to use the y equals mx plus b format. And we're going to plot our m. Now, our m is always the number in front of x, so in this case, it's a negative 1. So again, we're going to do negative 1 over 1. And b is always the number by itself, so in this case, b is 0, so our y-intercept is going to be 0, 0. So let's go over to our graph. I'm going to graph that equation. We're going to put a point at 0, 0, because that's our y-intercept. Put our point right there. From there, I'm going to go down 1 and over 1. I'm going to do that one more time. Bring it a little bit straighter of a line. Now, this equation is going to be, again, a dashed line, because it is not equal to. We'll make that a dashed line. Go all the way across my graph. So now this split my graph into two pieces, like the rest of them. However, this one, unlike the rest of them, splits it into two sections, but it goes through 0, 0. So we can't use 0, 0 this time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go over 1. I'm going to use 1, 0 instead. So again, mark your point on the graph so you see it there. 
we'll go back to our equation. We test it and test one zero, plug it in, and we have negative one is less than zero, and that is true. So when we go back to our graph, that right there is true. So we're going to shade this side of my graph because that is true. Okay. Now we're going to go back to our other equation. It's got that one graph. My other equation is x plus 3y is greater than 8. Now since this one, the x and the y are on the same side, we're going to use the zeros for the table. First we're going to plug in 0 for x. So we have 0 plus 3y is less than 8, or greater than 8. So that's 3y is greater than 8. And then we're going to divide both sides by 3. So y is greater than 8 thirds. So we're just going to place the 8 thirds right underneath that y there. We're going to test the other point. We're going to plug in 0 for the x or the y this time. So x plus 3 times 0 is greater than 8. So that means x is greater than 8. And we're going to just place the 8 right there. So now that I have my two points, I can go back to my graph and I can graph those two points. So I have first point was 0 and 8 thirds. So we're going to go over 0 and up 8 thirds. 8 thirds is just about 3, so we're just going to get close to 3, and we're going to put a point there. The next one was 8, 0, so we're going to go 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And put a point there. Now, this equation in number 38 was also just a greater than sign, so it's also going to be a dashed line. And do a dashed line through those two. Again, make sure my line goes all the way across my graph because we want to split the graph in half. Now, on this one again, just to be consistent, I'm going to use the same point I used last time, so I'm going to try 1, 0 again. Go back, and we're going to test this. So we test 1, 0 again. So 1 plus 3 times 0 is greater than 8. So 1 is greater than 8, and that is a false, because 1 is obviously less than 8. So when we go back to the graph, that point right there is false. So that means that I'm not going to shade where that point is. I'm going to shade on the other side of that one. So I'm going to shade up here. Okay. So again, the answer to this problem is not where all the shading is. It's just where they both are shaded. So if we were to look at where they're both shaded, that is just in this area right here. So that Everything up in there is my solution to the graph. That was just a quick review on graphing systems linear equations, including two of the problems from a homework assignment that the students had to do. Hopefully it gave you a little bit better understanding of what to do, and it explained a lot of the little nuances of what you had to do. Thank you.